Arlington, Virginia, our nation's capital, kinda. The big question when you're in Arlington is, are you a high-earning, well-educated political mind because you're in Arlington, or are you a low-earning, absent-minded redneck because you're in Virginia? My answer is, I'm both, because I like to be all-inclusive. I'm also neither, because I like to be all-inclusive of exclusionary-minded people, too. Now, being in Arlington, you're basically right in the heart of our nation's capital. Kind of makes me feel super political. Like the key to being the change I wish to see in the world is to only vote for people who I think will be the change I wish to see in the world for me. So I won't have to do anything. It's called self-responsibility. And then when they don't create the change I wish to see, I just pretend that voting for someone else in the next election will create the change I wish to see. After doing this over and over again while expecting a different result but getting the same result, I keep doing it because I still expect a different result. My favorite organization in America is headquartered in Arlington, the TSA. I love these guys. They make my travel experience slower, but at least I feel more frustrated too. Could you imagine what would happen if they didn't protect people from flying with normal sized shampoo bottles? We'd probably all have cleaner hair and nobody wants that. They pull me aside for a randomized search and swab my bag for drug residues. You think I'm dumb enough to fly with drugs? No. I'm gonna buy drugs once I get to my final destination like a responsible traveler. About half the TSA employees are super friendly people. Now the other half are cut from a very different mold. They seem to be compensating for when they were bullied as kids. And they can get away with it too because they have an officer's costume on that makes them think they matter. Yelling orders at me, being condescending, and exceptionally uncaring while treating me like I'm not a human makes me feel much safer when I fly. But at least I don't have rights because if I were to refuse to be bullied, their pretend authority would prohibit me from flying. And I love their pat downs where they meet to my crotch with the back of their hands. I don't mind because I don't have rights. The Potomac River running through Arlington is a beautiful spectacle to take in. It happens to be too polluted to swim in, but beauty's found on the inside. Raw sewage and dangerous levels of bacteria are the beauty found inside this river. The people of Arlington and DC say, hey, we have poop and we have a river. This is a good idea. And I say those people are brilliant. How dare you say you to me? Yeah, it's how I discuss politics. My prefrontal cortex works super well. And as you can tell, I lean to the left. Wait, your left, my right. No, my left, your right. I forgot what we were talking about. Arlington's the home of the Pentagon, the headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense. Now, I feel much safer knowing, according to the U.S., what makes a good defense is a good offense. The Pentagon's a defensive powerhouse, just like Tom Brady. I'll tell you some facts about Arlington. Arlington is named after President Arlington, who served as a stewardess on fighter jets during the Civil War. Approximately one in five people in Arlington is a member of the Illuminati. And so are the other four. Conspiracy theories have it that the Pentagon is actually an octagon with its three additional sides hiding in plain sight that represent the three-dimensional reality that distracts us from the five dimensions that are the true reality. People in Arlington don't go to yoga, they go to college. Amazon's bringing a second headquarters to Arlington because it cares about the community. Sometimes when I'm in Arlington, I go over to DC just so I can enjoy some traffic. It makes my blood boil and I feel like a hostage in my own car. Being in Arlington makes me feel like I'm making a difference in the direction this country's headed. Well, I'm doing nothing to make a difference and I'd have it no other way. There's just one more thing, you Arlington and DC weirdos. Coming your way to do comedy shows this weekend, Thursday through Saturday, July 11th through the 13th at the Arlington Draft House. Love to have you come out and get weird with me and have a good time at my comedy shows. Tickets are on sale now. You can grab them via my website and the link in the description of this video or go to awakenwithjp.com slash events. I've also got a limited number of VIP tickets available if you wanna get extra up close, weird, and personal with a meet and greet session. With that said, can't wait to see all you Arlington and DC weirdos this weekend.